Because the 671 blower uses helical drive gears, you need tandem pullers to get both of the drive gears to pull off at the same time. Because these specialty pullers are really expensive, I decided to make my own. I designed them in Autodesk's Fusion 360 3D modeling program. If you want to know more about Fusion 360, I've included a link to Autodesk's Fusion 360 site in the description of this video. The beauty of Fusion 360 is that it's actually a CAD CAM program that Autodesk provides to hobbyists for free. That means that you can do all of the 3D design work on screen and simulate the toolpath and then generate the G-code to send down to your CNC machine. In my case, this is a Bridgeport Series 1 CNC that I retrofitted with modern controls and servos about seven years ago. The control program for my bridge port is Linux CNC. The screen that you're seeing right now is the back plot showing the tool path as the part program is actually running. There's a nice feature in the cam section of Fusion 360 called Leave Tabs. This is a simple checkbox that lets you leave the two tabs shown in the video at the bottom of the part. This locks the part into your stock so that when the part is finished, the piece doesn't start jumping around wedged between the stock and your cutter and snap off your cutter. I made the tapered buttons for the puller by plunging a half inch end mill into a piece of aluminum stock on the lathe and then I cut it off at a 60 degree angle to give me my taper. This set screw sits in a groove in the shaft to keep the button from falling off of the screw when the puller is being handled. 